Ah, this week on Scam School, we revisit the 11 cent slide, a puzzle so diabolical you can give them the answer and still get beer. Toast me! Here we go, here we go. Back again at the Moon Tower Saloon, and it could not be more beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me, Justin and Matthew. We're gonna do something I don't think we've ever done in modern Scam School history. We're gonna go back and fully present a scam that we showed eight years ago, and I'm gonna make the following challenge. I'm gonna say that even people who watched that episode eight years ago will probably forget the answer and not be able to solve it and need to stick around to get it again. Oh, and the best part? This time we'll be doing it in daylight, so people will be able to tell the difference between dimes and pennies. So for example, that would be a legal move, and that would be a legal move, but that would be an illegal move. So you know on Scam School, you do the tricks to get the attention and get everybody excited, but it's the unbeatable puzzles is where you get your payoff. So in this case, we call this one the 11 cent slide, and all you need is three pennies and two dimes. You set them up in a line just just like so, and here are the rules. This is all in one dimension. Imagine like they're all hooked on to just one thread going through the whole thing, right? The other rule, two fingers at all times, and only two dimensions. You can only move two at once. And then when you let go, you can grab another two. They must be differing coins each time. That's why we call it 11 cent solution. You ah. always have to be touching 11 cents every time you move it. So it starts penny, dime, penny, dime, penny. Then it ends all pennies on the left, all the dimes on the right. Here is the craziest part. I'm going to full on show you the actual solution and I'll bet you a dollar you can't replicate it. Like that sounds Dude. that sounds dumb as rocks. <laughs> like I'm not even gonna hide it. I'm not I'm not using a secret passphrase. All you have to do is just a little something like this. And you end up with them oh, just wait, like wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's easy. Okay. You watched me do it. That's the five move solution. <laughs> I told you the rules, I set it up, I showed you the answer. Would so you fun. bet a beer <laughs> that you can recreate it? Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> alright, alright, give it a try. Play play around. You get unlimited resets. Go for it. I'm gonna go with this here. That's one, that's two, and then something, something, profit. Hey, you're in trouble. Oh, you can do it the wrong direction with four. Yeah. Do they need to stay in contact? You know, whenever somebody says, do they have to, what I do is I flip it around. I'm like, well, I do it that way. Okay. And it, <laughs> it can be done that way. And by the way, before you ask, can I do this? That's fair. Uh, and, and I'll say, I didn't have to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and you know it's true because you just watched me do it. All right, so first move. You got this. We put them there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Second move. All right, I'm going to try this here. OK. Why not? Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So here, um, I'll tell you what. This is the point that you can agonize someone where you could say, maybe I went too fast. I'll do it one more time. Oh, wow. Just buy me a beer for this one time, and then after that, you can get that same beer back because surely there's no way you'll watch the solution twice in a row and not be able to solve it, right? Right, right, right. So, all right, just right. promise me one beer, right? Worth it? Okay, right? sounds, oh, good, sounds oh, okay, good. So it's a five moves. You just do one, two, three, four, five. There you go, like that. <laughs> all you gotta do is <laughs> all you gotta do the five moves, and I'll even tell you there's a four move solution. One. I hope I'm close and you're just laughing at that. I'm laughing because I've never been so ballsy as to show the answer twice <laughs> and still be satisfied with how it's coming out. This is crazy. I will say you've, you've earned a beer. And, there, and that's the point. It's like, it's like we're all still friends here, but at some point it's just like, I will pay you to just, just scratch this itch for me, right? All right, toast me and I will reveal the secrets of the ancients. All right. And that's the way the news goes. And that's a wrap. Boom. Uh, not so fast, Brian. We still have to do a domain ad. A domain ad. What's uh, sure? Domain.com is fast, easy, reliable. Well, they got nine... you can't just talk into it anymore. Labor union laws. Now you have to do it while you're juggling, but only while you can maintain the juggle. I don't know how to juggle. It's just, it's the thing that you have to do now. Look, also, I don't why do rules. you have juggling balls? And these look very well used. Um, you know, I'm up to date on all the regulations. <laughs> <laughs> You're fully union compliant? I don't, I, I sincerely don't know how to juggle. Uh, <clears throat> yep, yep, see. If you need a, oh, <laughs> this might take a while. If you need a domain, ah, uh, damn.
If you need a domain, uh, if you need a domain, go to domain.com. They got fast, easy. Uh, 99 point knock. Deep breath. Get a domain. Get a domain. A domain. Get a domain. A domain. 99 point nine percent up top. Domain.com. Uh, domain.com. Get a domain. A, get a domain. A domain.com. They're fast, easy. Get a domain. A, get a domain. A domain.com. They're all right for reals. <laughs> How do I not know how to juggle? Domain doc domain.com makes domain huh? domain.com has fast, easy, reliable domains with new apps. Domain.com has fast, easy, reliable domains with 99% knock. I almost look like I did that on purpose. Fast, easy, reliable domains, 99.9% .9 uptime. Uh, promo code scam school check out, get 50% off. Domain.com. You. <laughs> Here's the beauty of this. Not only do I show you the answer, but let's say you had eagle eyes, you could replicate the answer since I showed it to you and then say, well, good, that was the opening. Now solve how to do it with only four moves instead, right? In this case, I double one because I first showed you the trick and you bought me a beer just to watch it again and you still <laughs> couldn't do it and you're buying me a beer for the careful answer, right? What makes it hard to follow is the speed and confidence with all the moves, right? right? So what I do is I use a mnemonic that I have in my mind. It goes over, over, half over, swap, obvious. On our store, we have a ring that has a little glyph, a little hieroglyph to remind you, over, over, half over, swap, obvious. So in this case, starting from left to right, like reading style, I'm gonna take a block and go over, over, half over, I'm gonna swap, and then obvious, obvious is, yeah. that's ah. right. Isn't that amazing? So as long as you remember that phrase, over, over, half over, swapped, obvious, right? But the best part is, even after somebody gets it, let's say you're like, I'll show you the solution, you do it, and then say, well, double or nothing, I bet you can't figure out how to do the same thing in only four moves. So I'll tell you what, we'll have a little mini challenge. See if you guys can figure out, I mean, you already know how it works with five moves. How hard could it be? Right. <laughs> four moves. Show Piece me the four move solution. Oh, you want me to go first? Let's go, Matt. I believe you. Let's go. That does not work. Time out. It suddenly hit me that I'm talking to two engineers. <laughs> exactly. Which means, number one, you guys had to be extra pissed the first half of this. Yes. And number two, I'm going to be extra nervous on the second half of this now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, walk it, walk it out. What do we got? All right. So. What I'm thinking is the way that he ended up with the swap, right? He had these two on the side. You know what I mean? He had a penny on the outside. Yep, yep. So we got to figure out how to make that move earlier. I'll tell you, the last two moves are the same in both solutions, but the first two are a new move that is not done in the five move solution. You have to invent a new move. Okay. It doesn't involve twisting or punching me or demanding beer. Damn, that last one's good. <laughs> Obvious. Swap. Something new. Nope. Swap. Obvious. So, hold on. Let's work nope. back this real quick. Uh, where were we? <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? I'm, I'm just going to give it to you. Yeah, all right. The one move you've never tried and you've gotten to this moment is a new move called Big Over. One big over, two big over. Oh my god. So, the, the five move solution is over, over, half over, swap, obvious, right? The four move solution introduces a new move I call big over, which is over with the buffer, big over, swap, obvious, um, and there you have it. Congratulations. Sir. Yeah, congratulations, <laughs> sir. You're in a all right, all right, here. You guys try to hustle me. Show me both versions. Basically, the rules, this is one dimensional. You have to imagine that these are all on a string. Yep, yep. You cannot uh, twist these around. Yep. You cannot lift them up. Yep. Do not pass gold. Do not collect $200. You got it. So within five moves, move these coins to where you will get them. Separated. Pennies on one side, yes. dimes on the other. And you always have to touch 11 cents at a time. Got it. Okay, all right. Well, I'm sure that's impossible. There's uh, proof to me that is, it can be done. It can be done in, in five steps. Hey, now, here's the hard part, because you're going to be very nervous at this right. point, because it's a cocksure play to, to just do it so fast in front of them <laughs> and, then, and then be done. So you just got to be like, it's very simple. Look, one, two, three, four, five. It's, it's actually really simple. In fact, I'll show it to you. Oh, well, so, really? I mean, okay, go for it. Oh. Matt, for the win. Let me try. You yeah. should try that. 11 cents. <laughs> this is super hard, but I'll bet you there's no 
four move solution. In fact, there what? is. What? <laughs> Here we go. All right, can you remember? Can you remember? Swap. Yep. Obvious. And you did it! Yeah. Gentlemen, you're true scam artists now. Now buy me drinks, <laughs> pay your fee, so your dues. Before some of you guys say it, yes, we did cover the 11 cent slide eight years ago, but be honest, do any of you guys remember both the four move and the five move solution? That's the brilliant thing about it, is without those mnemonics, it's almost impossible to rework the map of how it goes. So speaking of which, I want you to send in your favorite bar scams, magic tricks, or any kind of puzzle to brian at schwood.com. And of course, we should be best friends over at twitter.com slash schwood. There is no C in schwood. And if you haven't done so already, you've got to get in the party at the Modern Rogue. We are on a quest to become the ultimate warrior, gentleman, and scoundrel. In fact, you can get 24 hours of live episodes like our own channel at tv.themodernrogue.com. What can you make the moment you pick all this up? Well. How many times have you been in my bar and I had to make you drinks? I'm in your bar now. Oh, so you're saying we're the one who had to. All right, what's something we can make with this? I think you can make our Manhattan right now. The coins don't have to be next to each other. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, Damn. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me say, I don't have to do it that way. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Because we're all dumb. <laughs> uh, there's people in the comments right now screaming it at you.